Hello, this is MNK Gaming. I'm Mecha. I'm Katie. And we're doing our top five weirdest situations that we've been a, in. It took me a long time to come up with my list because I was just like, what the hell has happened to me? But thankfully, Mecha is like, yeah, you tell me a lot. About, yeah, like, and, and so, she started like giving me instances, and I was like, "Oh, like, yeah." I've had to give her cues, like, "You remember, um, what happened to you here, or remember what happened to you over there?" Like um, work, we but, live in downtown. The streets yeah. are a little weird. There's homeless people all There's over the stuff place. Stuff on like, the buses. So, like, I didn't have to tell her what happened to her, but I had to tell her where. I needed to be prompted a little bit. Yeah. Like, it's it's like when someone asks you what you want for your birthday, when, like, for the whole month you've gone in the store and pointed at specific things and been like, I want that, I want that, I want that. And then someone asks you and you're like, uh, I don't know. Yeah. So, exactly like that so did you want me to start it off or did you want to start uh it? you can okay if so you want. how it's gonna work this time around is <laughs> i'm gonna say one and then katie's gonna say one all right like a story yeah okay so my fifth instance my weirdest instance happened um happened with katie actually one of my first <laughs> one of my first few weeks here in seattle um and I had just met her and she was like, hey, let's go to McDonald's. And I was like, all right, my roommate, as we're walking out of my apartment, my roommate, she said, um, don't get stabbed at McStabby's because we we're heading to the McDonald's in the shady part of town. Right. No, so, all the McDonald's in Seattle have a different nickname. There's McStabby's, McMurder, and Crackdonald's. Yep. So we were heading to the one that we call McStabby's. Which is the closest to our apartment. Right. So, getting on with it, um, <laughs> I started feeling a little anxious. I don't like being out at night, and um, I just met Katie, so I was like, all right. Wasn't we're super gonna... comfortable with me. Yeah, we're going to be in for a ride. Uh -huh. So... <laughs> we get there, Katie's ordering her stuff, I'm looking around, I don't like McDonald's that much, so I didn't get anything, um, and I see this, like, man, like, this weird, weird dude, kind of just, like, doing, like, this chicken walk, you know, like, a <laughs> clucking, like, he looks like, I couldn't hear him, but he looked like he was clucking. I don't remember this. Yeah, I, I pointed him out to you, but apparently Katie saw some other weird dude, but yeah, that guy was just clucking, and poking his head at the door and doing like the chicken neck thing oh my lord um i don't so, remember any of this yeah yeah and i said katie look that guy's walking like a chicken and katie's <laughs> like what oh i see a weird dude and yeah so she didn't see him but i remember <laughs> i remember so clearly and i said that's why i will not go to mcstabby's get javier to go with you right. i am not gonna run into some crazy dude no and like we've we've been there like you know, three or four other times, like, in, in the year that we've Very been true. hanging out. But I won't just go with Katie. I will make sure we, we have, have our squad. We have an entourage, yeah. Yeah. No, because last time it was, uh, we went to go get McFlurries, and there were, like, four of us. So, I don't blame you. Oh, yeah. So that's, that's my fifth instance. Okay. Yeah, my five, um, my fifth, this one isn't too weird, but, um, Valentine's ex-girlfriend went to the same school as him. Valentina and I did not go to the same school together. Um, but we had a thing called College Bound, um, where we we have our high school classes that go through a community college nearby and um we, you know, we get our, our college credits through there, so it's it's a class that we are taking at the high school that counts for college as well if that makes any sense. Um, so I was going there to get a transcript to, you know, deal with something, because I was, I went to school in Texas, but I was, you know, now I'm here in Seattle for college, and uh, I was there to get a transcript, and I saw Valentine's ex-girlfriend walking by me, Yikes. and I had never seen her before. Like, I mean, I kind of had, but I made a point not to look at her, because I knew that, like, you know, I'd, I'd get angry. Um, so I made a point not to look at her, and then... I also, like, I didn't realize it was her, because I hadn't seen her, like, hardly ever. So, um, that was, that was the thing. I walked past her, and I didn't realize it was her, and then I looked back, and she was looking back at the exact same time, and we locked eyes, and we were both like, fuck! So, uh, we just stared at each other for a second or two. 
So yeah, we locked we locked eyes for a second. It was a little weird, and then I told Valentine about it later, and apparently she told him too. So yikes. <laughs> yeah, that that's kind of weird. There you go. Okay, so my fourth instance, my fourth weirdest instance was a little strange, but it was like all right. I'm, you know, I'm I'm a pretty chill person yeah. when weird stuff happens to me all the time. Weird stuff happens to me all the time. So this was a pretty hard to name the top weirdest things that's ever <laughs> happened to me. Um so my fourth weirdest instance, not not the craziest. Um <laughs> Uh, so I was walking in the hall in high school to my class. I, it was like near the end of the day. Um, I want to say we had like six periods in our, um, in our high school, in our high school course. So it was a Monday, um, or Friday. I don't remember. We had all six periods that day. Anyway, I was walking from my fifth class to my sixth one. And I'm walking down the hallway and I'm in this huge crowd because we're in the ghetto and it's a super crowded hallway. There's a whole bunch of kids who don't want to be there. We're all insecure about ourselves. Um, and so what happened was this girl, she just comes and like she walks in front of me. She looks at me straight in the eye and then she walks past and she grabs my butt. And she goes, gotcha! And she runs away oh, laughing. No! <laughs> and so me, being a still closeted lesbian in high school, because everybody's weird in high school, um, and, you know, pricks, there's pricks in high school. There's dicks and pricks. Of course. So I didn't want to come out. I didn't feel like I wanted to date anyone who was out in my high school. So I just stayed in the closet. So many thoughts went through my mind at that point. Just like, <laughs> who was that girl? Why did she grab my butt? Is she interested in me? Is she not interested in me? And I walked to art class feeling, all right, I'm just, I'm done for today. I just stopped thinking. I was like, nope, I'm just going to stop. So yeah, it was my fourth instance. Like when I was groped by a girl and I'm pretty sure she was a freshman. And I was like, all right. You're just a gonna grab a senior's ass. A random freshman just grabbed your ass. Yeah. Was it like a soft grab or like a claw grab? It was like a firm grab. Oh my god. Like, yeah. And so I was just kind of like, all right. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So there's a butt grabber in high school, guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> mine isn't quite as... Uh... I don't know, mine's, mine's a little more... Okay, so I got catcalled on the street, but this particular time, uh, it wasn't just like, hey, baby, or like, hey, you're, oh, you're cute. I it remember was, this. I was walking across the street, and there was like two seconds left on the uh, the stop, you know, the little light sign thing, and um, I was walking across this guy, and I'm wearing, just, just so we all know, I was wearing a heavy sweater, like, you know kind of baggy jeans that went all the way down to my shoes. I had really big, like, rain boots on, like, hunting boots on, um, and I had a jacket over my big sweater. I wasn't dressed provocatively, so he had no, no reason, like, that I provoked him to say this, but he looked at me up and down and said, damn that pussy fine, in my ear, as we were walking, like, you know, past each other on the street, and I turned around and I said, fuck right off and everyone around me didn't hear what he said they just heard what i said and they stared at me like i was crazy <laughs> but i've never had that happen before i've like i've been catcalled before but never that blatantly like i've never had anyone go like damn that pussy fine like what the fuck i that's my number four all right that's my four nice your turn <laughs> yeah i've never been catcalled um but i probably would have the same reaction Either it would either be bursting out like what the hell is wrong with you or just being like, Alright, whatever. Like how that girl grabbed my butt. I was just like, Alright, whatever, goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I, I usually like, you know, have a burst of obscenities. Yeah. You know, just to make other people aware that like, hey, something happened. Yeah, so they for can sure. look. For sure. But that's that's it. <laughs> so my third instance happened with my mom, and we have like an inside joke about this. Um, my mom and I 
Oh, we were, okay, so we were chilling at the park. She asked me that day, hey, do you want to play hooky? And I was like, heck yeah. Who who wouldn't pass up, you know, playing hooky? Mm. Also, my mom is freaking awesome. She's cool. She's not like, oh, we can't do this in CPG. No, she'd, she'd be like, yeah, let's go watch a movie. Or like, yeah, let's go at the park and have a picnic. I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom. Yeah, my mom is a cool mom, but she's also lay the smack down rules mom. So it's like, which one? Happy hours <laughs> from four to six. <laughs> really? Um, so, yeah, my mom's, my mom and I went to the, went to the park like around a lake and we had like this picnic we had peanut butter jelly sandwiches we had like juices you know we had like a whole bunch of stuff for a picnic so this was in like late summer so it was getting a little chilly um and so the widows started coming out um so <laughs> well she she lied down in the grass and i was facing towards the parking lot um, and I was like sitting up in the grass, so she was like, to passerbys, she wasn't really there. Like, you couldn't really see her. Um, so, uh, this, this crazy, this crazy ice cream truck comes in, and it's playing lullaby music. Like, it was really weird. Like, the song was like a lullaby music. Define crazy ice cream truck. Just it's, the, just... it's just, okay, so this, it's a regular ice cream truck but it was grossly painted. Like it was painted like this yellow and mucusy color. Ew. And it had like horrible, horrible graphic design for the logo. And it was called like King's, King's Ice Cream or whatever, you know? And it was playing... Um, Lullaby music. Yeah, it was playing, I think, like Geminopede or whatever that it's called. Um, what? What? Yeah, it was, it was... I don't remember the name of that song, but it was like a piano song. And it was a lullaby. And I was like, what the heck? And so I turn to my mom and I say, you know, I wish I could buy some tomatoes. So I would like go and throw those tomatoes right at that truck. I'll just, I was seven years old at the time. What a thing so to say. That was the worst, the worst insult I could come up with is just throwing tomatoes at something. <laughs> so I was Bam. like, yeah, mom, I'll just, I'm just going to go to the store. I'm going to buy some tomatoes and I'm just going to throw all of the tomatoes at that truck because it's creepy. And this lady who's walking by... And I think she was like a homeless woman, I'm not quite sure, but she looked pretty roughed up. She turns to me, and she goes, and she calls over, she's like two, f two yards away. She calls over, tomatoes? What tomatoes? And like, I'm quiet, and I look at her like, <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, like I just, I looked at her weird, and she looked at me, and my mom was like, who the hell is talking to my kid? So she sits up, and the lady just stares at me. And my mom, and there's this moment of silence, and the lady goes, hi. And then my mom, she's like, hello? <laughs> and the lady just walks away. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so tomatoes? My mom, what tomatoes? Yeah, so next, like, every time my mom and I, like, see something weird, I'll go, tomatoes? What tomatoes? And she'll <laughs> bust out laughing. Or she'll do the same thing to me, like, tomatoes? What tomatoes? And we'll just start laughing. <laughs> So yeah, that's my that's my third crazy instance. Okay, I feel like yours are more funny and mine are more serious and stupid. Mm -hmm. Um. So actually, yeah, this one is more serious and stupid. This is like shit that happens on a on the bus on the on the city bus. Um, I I work about like an hour long bus ride from my work. Like, it's, it's really half hour, like, it's a half an hour, but it takes an hour for me to, like, walk to the stop, wait for the bus, and then take the bus, and then walk from that stop to my workplace. So it's about an hour-long trip, um, and I can't always afford to Uber, and I don't have a car, and parking is, like, $13 an hour at the cheapest here in downtown. So it just makes more sense, you know, to buy, like, a bus pass and just, you know, it's, like, two fifty a ride. It's a lot less than $13 an hour for, like, six-hour-long shifts. Whatever. So, uh, I'm gonna kind of cheat on this one. I have two instances, two bus instances. Um, when I first moved here, I kind of got into a verbal altercation with a guy who was, like, I was trying to listen to my music. It was already, like, all the way up because I couldn't hear my music over this guy who was talking about religion. He was, like, you all need to repent for your sins and whatever. And, like, he just started, you know, yelling. And people were, like, hey, dude, like, you know, 
like, trying to talk to him, and it kept getting louder and louder. So I took out my headphone, and I said, Sir, and he stopped, and he was like, Yeah? And I said, Sir, I understand that you're very deeply religious, and I'm sure these people would love to talk to you, but maybe you could have that conversation a little bit quieter. And he's like, Are you telling me to shut up? And I was like, Please? And he was like, No, I will not! And he started screaming at me, and I just put my headphone in, and I was like, Okay, fuck it, whatever. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna keep, like, fighting him. But yeah. So, verbal altercation with a religious guy on a bus. And then also, about a month ago, some rando threw a brick through my bus window. Just for no reason. Just a brick. Random brick. Hmm. So, yeah, that's my, that's my number three. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, I remember the brick. I don't, I don't think you told me about the uh, other guy, though. That was before you moved here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so, this is the second... Um, this is my number two. My number two is, um, I was about, I want to say 15, 16 years old. Um, I was allowed to drive alone, right? So I'm allowed to drive alone now. Um, I'm buying my own groceries. My mom was like, okay, well, you got to start you young. Um, you got to learn how to buy your own groceries. You got to learn to budget. You know, you got to learn to balance your job and your school. Um, cause I already had a job. Like as soon as I like turned as soon as I turned 16, yeah, as soon as, as soon as I turned 16, I got a job, and, um, I started buying my own groceries, and so, <laughs> I, I took my mom's car that day, I took my mom's car, it was, it was winter time, so it was winter time, I took my mom's car to our nearest, um, Safeway, um, and <laughs> I'm walking around with the cart, um, no, it was a basket, I was walking around with a basket, and, I see like this kid, like he's a tiny, tiny kid, probably like five, six years old. Um, he's like looking at stuff and I was like, all right. And so I, I go into like the, um, the very, very end of the store and it's like a milk kind of wall and um, I had to go get milk. So what I did was I grabbed the milk, I put it in my basket, you know, la da da. I start walking um, towards the produce, which is like all the way across the store. And I have one basket in my arm and like my other hand just dangling. I feel a little hand slide into mine. <laughs> and lo and behold, this kid thinks I'm his mother. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> and so I'm thinking, who the hell is holding my hand? <laughs> and I look down and it's this kid. We're walking together. He's holding my hand. I, um, I kind of like, I kind of squeeze his hand a bit and I look at him and he looks up at me and his like face is fine. Like his face is fine for a moment and then it dawns on him. He's like, this is not my mother. Oh my <laughs> and so he Are just kind of like, kinda, the like same height as his mom? I don't know. I don't know. Cause like, as soon as he realized, he just let go of my hand and walked away. Oh my god! <laughs> saying nothing to me. Jesus Christ! He just, he just disappeared, <laughs> and um, I was I was left like uh, wondering. Okay, I hope that kid found his mom, and I went to the protocile, got my stuff, and left. I paid for it and then left. I was about to say without paying. God. <laughs> no, I paid for it and then I left. Um, right. I don't think I told my mom that story because I tried to forget about it. <laughs> oh. Well, there you are. Um, so yeah, my second instance, rando kid, just coming up, holding my hand. Okay. <laughs> um, this, uh, I, my number two, I went to McDonald's and, um, I usually get like a Coke McStabbies? or a Sprite or something to make stabbies, mm -hmm. right? And, um, so I was walking, um, Away from McStabby's, I got a drink. I usually get like a Coke or a Sprite. And uh, I, back at home, Sonic will put whatever the hell you want in your drink for you. And I, we, my Valentina and I discovered this uh, Sonic secret menu. And I don't remember if it's exactly accurate, but it said the Dr. Pepper Orgasm. Oh, God. Was, I know that was the name of the flavor. Um, the Dr. Pepper Orgasm was uh, Dr. Pepper with a shot of Powerade and a shot of cranberry juice. I tried it, 
and then I tried it without the cranberry juice, and I liked it even better. So now I just go, like, I'll go to Sonic and ask for a Dr. Pepper with a, um, you know, with a shot of Powerade. And they do it. And it tastes a little weird at first. Like, the first time you have it, it's like, what the hell is this? And then you keep drinking it, and you get used to the flavor, and it's really good. Like, it works well together. And I know it sounds kind of gross, but, like, just trust me. Just try it. It's really good. So I get that. Like, I usually get, you know, a Coke or a Sprite. I get that, re like, the really weird drink. And I'm uh, at the bus stop waiting for my bus to go to work, and this lady... Like, I have my, I got a drink, uh, I drank my stuff, and then I got a refill before I left, and it was just sitting by my side, because I wasn't going to drink all of it in, like, you know, five minutes. I was, I didn't want to feel all sloshy, so it was just sitting by me on my box that I was going to mail, and this lady comes up to me, and she goes, that wouldn't happen to be a Coke, would it? And I said, actually, no, it's not, sorry. And, like, you know, go back to what I was doing on my phone, hoping that she would leave me alone. And then she, like, tries to get my attention again, and she does, like, remember that vine that was, like, hey, mom, I got an abortion? Uh. Like, those really weird, like, you know, almost robot kind of yeah. arm motions. She was doing that, and she was, like, maybe you can help a mother out. And I was, like, you know, imitating her things, and I was, like, that's really cool, but I've already put all my saliva all over the straw, so maybe no thanks. And she was like, oh, okay. And she left me alone. <laughs> but, like, just the fact that she was like, yeah, can you help a mother out with, like, the really... It was... It was weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, everyone else was staring at me like, dude, why don't you give her the drink? And I was like, I already have my saliva all over the straw. That and it's a specialty drink that a lot of people don't like. So, or I... A lot of people don't know about and right. think that they don't like. But, like, it was my drink. I bought it and I wanted it because it's specialty and like should have given her the drink Katie <laughs> should have given Maybe her the you drink you can help a mother out it was weird so we had we had a moment where we were both kind of doing the robot until I told her no and she left <laughs> so there you go downtown Seattle y'all fun 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 yeah of course <laughs> uh, you know to be honest I probably would have given her my drink no I you and I'm... Valentine are too nice yeah y'all like when when people ask me for money or like try to talk to me, I I just don't even acknowledge that they're there. Yeah, and that's mean like of me to like do, this lady earlier today, we were in a parking lot <laughs> and she was like, and Katie was looking at a map, you know, trying to find her stuff. And this lady walks up like from the alleyway and she's like, hey, do you ladies need any help? And Katie went, no, we're fine. And I then she was my like, map too. I was like, nope, you can't see what we're doing. No, leave me alone. And you also had like your bitch face. Uh -huh. yep. You weren't smiling, so you looked scary. And the lady was Good. like, damn, geez, I'm just trying to help. And I went, yes, thank you. Have a nice day. And she's like, oh, thanks, you too. And then we left. And I was like, Katie, you don't know if she's a murderer. Don't be rude. <laughs> then why are you going to be nice to a murderer? Well, you're going to be nice so she doesn't murder you. <laughs> that's, not, that's not how that works. That's, that's how that works. No, if it's a murderer, I don't really think it matters. But also, there was a lady that asked us for money, uh, and we were on the wrong, like, we were heading the wrong way on the side of the street. So, halfway down the block, we turned back around. Because I was way, right. Because I were... was right. I had the directions right, and Katie was wrong. Thank you. Proceed. <laughs> In continuing. So, we were, we turned around, and we walked right on the side of the street, uh, the right way, up the hill. And this lady that had just asked us for money was still in the corner. And she asked us for money again. And I said, you just asked us. And Metro was like, Katie! And I was like, yeah, because Geez. you said it's so mean. Well, she did. Leave us alone. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, no, sorry. Again, that's all you got to say, Katie. You don't got to be like, you already asked us. She mean, did. Mean, she, mean, could, mean. she could leave us alone. <laughs> Meaner. Anyway, that was my number two. Go ahead. All right. Your number one. <laughs> so my number one. It's actually, it happened this year. It was a few months ago. Yeah, a few months ago. I had to draw my first nude, like, live nude oh, model. Oh, I know this one. Yeah. Um, no, it's it's actually not that one. Oh, it was a really mind. good one, though. Um, it, that was a different instance with a nude model. Anyway, so... <laughs> that makes it this, sound a little ominous. This was my first nude model ever. Um, and... You know, I've I've never drawn a nude model before. I've drawn people before, sure, but not like actually naked, full on tits and vajayjay. 
So Penis. <laughs> so I'm drawing, right? I'm drawing this lady. I'm trying to like think of her as an object so I don't get all blushy blush um, and embarrassed. And my teacher, she's walking around the room, right? She she's walking around the room. She sees my art and she goes, "No, you you have to like you yeah, you have to stop idealizing her body. You have to draw, you know, you have to draw the wrinkles and you have to draw blah and this and she's like you know this is blah blah she's correcting me right because I'm idealizing the woman's body I am I'm making it look more beautiful than it actually is her words uh, um oh <laughs> and imagine so the, how the model felt the model looked at me <laughs> I'm like Ever since then, I always felt weird about that model because she'd always like face towards me in weird poses. And she's not she's not a model at our school anymore. But I was just like, thanks for shouting out that I'm making her body look perfect. That's totally what vibe I want to give off. <laughs> I just want to leave now. <laughs> oh, no, Katie, you were probably thinking about the the nude model that looked like my stepdad. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah, that was also a weird instance, but not the weirdest. This one was this was one the far most embarrassing. The most uncomfortable. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um so my number one weirdest, I work at an escape room. And uh, if you don't know what an escape room is, uh, a quick Google search might help, but just, you know, if you're too lazy to go and leave the tab or open a new one or whatever. <laughs> um, it's a thing that derived from a video game where you your objective is to uh, escape the room, essentially, uh, within a certain amount of time. So uh, the escape rooms usually have like a theme or whatever, and you have like an hour to escape is usually how it goes. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of people come for corporate events, like for team building. Uh, some people have birthday parties there. We've had like a, a group of like eight year olds last week came mm -hmm. in for a birthday, for, and they didn't get very far. Um, but they had a lot of fun, and it was really cute to watch them try. So, uh, so yeah, that was cute. But there was one instance, like, six months ago, I think, where there was this group of girls that was, you know, sometimes 13 or 14-year-olds will just surprise their best friends by kidnapping them on their birthday. And all these girls came in, and I was like, Hi, are you guys here for the 3 o'clock? And they were like, Shh, shh, shut up, shut up. And I was like, uh, okay. And they were, like, <laughs> leading, you know leading this girl with a bag over her head. Oh my god. Like, earphones on. Her hands were bound with a rope. Jeez. And I was like, what the f*** is this? And they were like, it's her birthday. And I was like, oh, okay. And she's like, okay, what do we need to sign? I was like, there's a waiver. So um, they said, is there a place to leave her? And I was like, sure. Like, you can... There's a chair in my office, and I brought the chair out of the office. Like I can, I have pictures. I can, I can send them to you so you can put this in the video. I have pictures of this and video proof. Oh and she God. was sitting there in a chair with her hands bound and a potato sack pretty much over her head, or like a pillowcase, whatever, over her head. And she was just sitting there in a chair, not knowing what she was doing or where she was going. Her friends had her climb a huge bunch of stairs to get up there. Um, that's terrifying. Yeah, and then they just, like, they led her, like, I gave them the safety or orientation, like, with her still in my office, um, and then, you know, they didn't take off the blindfold until she was in the room, and she screamed bloody murder, but yeah, just having someone walk in with, like, a potato sack and, like, their wrists bound into my office <laughs> was the weirdest thing I've ever had happen to me. Yeah, no, please... Uh, even though my birthday is like in a few weeks, I'm not please gonna don't kidnap you. ever do that to me. No, I, I will I... not have fun. No. I don't like surprises like that. No, I don't even like surprise parties because I don't know what's happening. Mm -mm. No, I mean I'd rather plan things out so people are aware, so people can plan. Right. You no, know? instead of like, you know, oh, don't plan anything for this day. Why? What's gonna happen? I can't tell you. Okay, well then I'm just gonna plan shit. All right. So, yeah, no, she she got kidnapped. And she had her wrists bound. That's terrifying. And That's also a hazard. That yeah, especially <laughs> like walking up all those stairs. Like you've seen my workplace. There's a shit ton of stairs. Yeah. So I don't know how they got her up, but whatever. They had a fun time, but it was it was hilarious, but also probably the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, I bet. So, so they, yeah, that's my number one. That so nice, <laughs> nice. We have 
pretty weird situations. I'm pretty sure there's weirder situations that have happened to me, but like, yeah, that's, same here. That's but all I, I just can't think, think of. of any. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in to our top five weirdest situations. We'll um, see you in later videos. Yeah. Please put in the comments what you want us to kind of do, uh, video game wise or top five wise, um, and we will make a concerted effort to do those. Oh, for sure. Thank you, and see y'all later. Yeah, have a great time.